Fire Balls to restore your energy! Go! Don't try to keep up with me! Come on, Kakarot, let's get started! As one of the leading manga franchises in the world, Dragon Ball has spawned a host of animated series, collectibles, action figures, and of course, video games. With over 50 games on almost every platform imaginable carrying the popular Dragon Ball name, there have been plenty of titles for fans to get their hands on over the years. Ranging from the wonderful Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3 to the dreadful Dragon Ball Z sagas, the franchise has had its fair share of both hits and misses. But a completely new way of experiencing Dragon Ball Z is about to be unleashed with the release of Atari's Budokai Tenkaichi 2 for the Nintendo Wii. This has got to be a dream! Featuring a robust roster of more than 120 characters, the game will let you run through various scenarios from Dragon Ball to Dragon Ball GT within 16 unique environments. For fans worried about being slighted in the features department, don't worry. Budokai Tenkaichi 2 contains everything found in the PlayStation 2 version of the game, including nine different gameplay modes and customizable characters. Features aside, the real strength of any good Dragon Ball Z game lies in its ability to make the player feel like they're actually controlling one of the unique and expressive fighters from the DBZ universe. Well, Budokai Tenkaichi 2 for the Wii accomplishes this like never before by allowing you to actually perform your favorite moves by utilizing the Nintendo Wii Remote and Nunchuck. A good balance of button pressing and selective movement using the Wiimote and Nunchuck has been achieved in the game's fighting mechanics, making for a well-rounded but immersive fighting experience. You perform primary attacks using the A button and move your character throughout the environment using the D-pad, triggering Chi Blast with the B button on the Wiimote. If you want to dash, you simply move the nunchuck in a quick downward motion, boosting the move up to a super dash if you so choose by holding down the Z button while you shake. The Wiimote is used effectively during actual combat as well. For instance, you can perform special character moves by holding down the B and Z buttons and then executing one of several unique movements to perform the move. Want to toss out Goku's Kamehameha Blast in the heat of battle? Hold down the necessary buttons and then move the controllers back and forth in a stabbing motion to unleash the fury. The game features tons of these innovative attacks that will have hardcore Dragon Ball Z fans moving and shaking their way to victory. None of these moves are really difficult to execute, and most do a pretty good job of replicating a movement you would expect your favorite DBZ characters to be doing if they were launching their very own special attack. Even with all the unique moves available with the Wiimote, however, the developers recognize that traditional fans might not want to deviate from their standard control schemes, which is why they've included the option to plug in a GameCube controller to fight old school on the Wii. With innovative yet immersive gameplay, tons of characters to choose from, signature DBZ style fighting, and even some light action and RPG elements thrown into the mix, Budokai Tenkaichi 2 is looking to land a knockout punch with its well-rounded and in-depth Nintendo Wii experience. Watch out for our full review when the game ships this November.